Sorry, Petey. I see you, son. I don't hardly want to hear your mess tonight. Forget you then, Petey. You always trying to make somebody feel bad. In fact, I done lost my appetite all together. Hey, Jonas, come on, man. Let's uh, step outside. Don't mess this up. Mess what up? This, this, this opportunity. Don't you realize that being here is a privilege that can be taken away? Man, Pity takes everything so seriously, man. I came in late. What's the big deal? I ain't never had a daddy, and I don't need one now. Look, nobody's trying to be your father, man. All I'm trying to say is get it together or you won't be here, period. You threatening me? Look, Jonas, I didn't bring you out here for the conversation to go this way, man. I, I brought you out here to help you, okay? I, I see what's going on, all right? I've been there. Those cats that are out there in the street calling you, trying to get you to carry the next package or run the next lick, those are not your boys, man. Now you make a decision to go out there and you may never come back. Well, that decision is mine. I'm sick of it. I can't find a job. Nobody trusts me to find a place to live. I can hit the streets and make two grand a day yeah, easy. But what is two grand if you end up back in a cage or in a box? That's all I got. It's not all you got. Your life is worth more than that, man. I know that. But look, man, nobody can live it for you, man. This is a decision that you're going to have to make. You're right. That's a decision I got to make. So you stay out of my way, and I stay out of yours. Good night, Jonas. Yeah, sleep tight. <laughs>